Shalom family trendsetter, all praises be to the Most High Power, Hashem for allowing us to see another day. The Most High is the God of all gods, the creator of mankind, that's who I am referring to. Okay, I never met God, neither have you, never met Jesus, neither have you, so I only pray to one God, one Savior. All praises be to the Most High Power. Now, I won't be long in this video, um, I've noticed that my channel has grown and I want to welcome the new subscribers to this channel. Um, I will suggest that you guys go and watch a couple of my older videos in case you are a Christian. You know what I mean? You may want to go ahead and watch some of my older videos because I do talk about that religion, Christianity, that has been controlling our people. Not only our people, but everybody. You know what I'm saying? Religion is a construct to keep us in bondage. Both physical at times and spiritual bondage so again i always um refer to y'all to go and watch older videos as new subscribers because i know sometimes you'll see a video very interesting at that time because you like the content and then you go ahead and scroll through and you see that oh wait a minute this dude don't believe in jesus you know and incidentally the letter j right was invented in 1524 the letter J that spelled Jesus that in the Bible it refers to no one can be saved other than if you come to I'm paraphrasing that is the only name you can be saved is under the name of Jesus okay so if there's no other name you can be saved under other than Jesus and Jesus was invented in 1524 what was the name they was calling on before 1524 if you go into the KJV 1611 the King James 1611 Bible you cannot find any letter J's in that Bible and incidentally 1611 Bible came before the other Bibles that it was translated okay so I know a lot of y'all y'all refer to the new King James Version Bible that has the J's in it NIV and all the other Bibles however there wasn't any letter J's in the 1611 King James Version so which means his name couldn't have been Jesus and this is one of the reasons why I do not worship Jesus I don't even worship God you know why because God is a title there are many gods all I do each morning I raise my hands to the heaven stretch forth my hands to the heaven and I say all praises be to my creator whoever you are okay just narrow this shit down because I don't know if my creator is a male or female or alien at the end of the day He's an unseen God. He haven't presented himself to us for whatever reason. I suspect because we are cut off from him. We're in hell. Okay, this is hell that we are dwelling in right now. And we're cut off from him. That's why we never ever met God. Never ever heard from God. I don't give a fuck how much y'all think God is speaking to you. No, he's not. He's probably speaking to your spirit. Right? Because in the Bible, God is a spirit. But you have never heard. And if you're hearing voices, you may want to get the shit checked out. Hey, maybe because you're crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I've never heard from God. I do know that the most I, you know what I'm saying, communicate with me because oftentimes he will give me prophetic dreams as well as visions. As I've told y'all and I've said it before, back in 2018, I made a video. For those of you who've been with me that long, you can go back into the archive as well, where I stated that in 2019, something major was going to happen. And everybody was going to be affected. The whole world was going to be affected by this event. And we know what that is. The CV virus. Secondly, I made another prediction in 2020 that before our new year begun, which would have been in April, right? That someone on the world stage was going to die. Someone on the world stage was going to die. People speculated it would have been Trump and other, you know, politician. But in fact, it was that ugly demonic looking individual that so-called prince he looked like a, walk, a walking dead and I, I'm saying it like this because for me he's a devil the uh, the, the, the um, English right not the English but the, um, the British so-called royal family they was responsible for slavery so I don't give them no regards one down one more to go you know what I'm saying so I did speculate that it would have been probably a, you know a political um, individual, but he is in the political arena. He's supposed to be the prince, right? Remember, Britain, or I should say the royal family, ruled the world. A lot of y'all don't understand it. And, and America carry out 
enforcement of the royal family. So I did make a prediction and sure enough it happened and you know that's why I know I'm right in tune with the most side. I'm not very educated. I didn't go to college and shit. Right, just have a lot of common sense and because I follow law, statutes and commandments, because it make a lot of sense to me. There's six hundred and thirteen of them, but I just follow the seven commandments, right? Seven com what is ten oh I'm sorry, ten commandments as best as I can. And so far the most I've been blessing me, not only the ten commandments that I do try to follow, I also follow dietary law, which is not to eat crab, shrimp, lobster, or pork. Even the food items that I eat, I read the back of the label to make sure it doesn't have any enzyme in it. If it has enzyme, it's supposed to say uh, vegetable enzyme. Okay? I don't eat pork product. And this is one of the reasons why I have a, a youth face. My face is very youthful. People don't believe my age when I tell them, especially when I tell them how many kids I have. And you know what I'm saying? I, I, I give all praises to the most high for that. So there's some stuff going on, family, that I want to share with y'all, but I'm not going to share with y'all on this particular video. I'm going to wait because I'm still doing some more research on that particular topic. But again, welcome to my new subscribers. Again, I'm not a Christian. I was baptized four times, went down a dry center, came up a wet center. Because baptism did not do anything for me because once again, for those of you who know the history of baptism, that the baptism, the whole baptism came from ancient Kemet, all right? The Egyptians believed the only time a baby could be purified, they had to dip the baby in the Nile River. That's where you get your christening from with babies, right? And the Romans, you know, they always, they're like culture bandits and shit, right? They always steal ideas and stuff like that. So they took took on that particular practice, re, repackage it, and came up with baptism talking about Paul this and Paul fuck Paul Paul never existed none of these characters in the New Testament ever existed they was a prophet sent by the Most High to teach the, the children of Israel right incidentally the children of Israel are not white they're not Caucasian only black people deal with tribes white people deal with clans so those people over there occupying that land calling themselves God chosen people the Jews they might be the Jews but they are definitely not the children of Israel Okay, only the black folks, the one that went into tran the Tranalak slave trade, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. If you read from the Deuteronomy chapter 28, from the 15th verse to 68th verse, it explains to you who the true chosen people are. The one that's on the bottom, getting persecuted by these devils, these heathen that's ruling for now, their rulership will be taken away. But anyway, um, as I was saying, right, that I personally believe that we the children of Israel, the black folks, not all black people incidentally are the children of Israel because you did have, um, you know, three brothers, Ham, just Japhet, and Shem. The, 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 we, the descendant of Shem, we are the chosen people. The Most High gave us the commandments, the Lord's Sassan commandments. He did not give it to the heathen, so I don't understand why these people are in church every day trying to teach us who God is. The Most High gave the Lord's Sassan commandments to the children of Israel. Right, and if the heathen wanted to practice that, they could have, but the law was strictly given to us. Why? Because out of all the family of the earth, he chose us as his people, and we disobeyed the law, sets, and commandment. And you know, I was just considering like how today, how many of our people are just doing what the Gentiles are doing, these heathens are doing, you know, into homosexuality, uh, drugs, and you know, just this debauchery. And they expect salvation. I mean, think about it. If you're a parent and you give strict laws in your home and your kids are disobeying your, um, you know, your, the, the strict laws that you put in your home, the, the, you know what I'm saying? In other words, you tell them, listen, this is how, this is what I want, you know, you to do while you're under my roof and they disobey. It's either one or two things. Either you're going to reprimand them or get rid of them, kick them out. And in our case, we, we got both. We got reprimanded and we was kicked out of the, uh, out of our land. Now, where is our land? Nobody knows. A lot of people speculate that our land is over there in Palestine where those devils are at fighting wars. Because remember, the Bible does state in the Old Testament that when he gathered the children of Israel and put, brought them back in their land, they will study war no more. So we know those devils that went over there on ships, right, back into their land on ships. Because a lot of them went back, you know, taking airplanes and, and it was on ships, right? But it wasn't slave ships. They literally had an option to go back to that land at their, because they're now practicing our religion, right? 
because these are the serpent um, people. These are, um, they was referred to as the serpent people. King, uh, I forgot the name of the king that was over them. Everywhere they went, they got kicked out of the land and they had to find a refuge. So because they had money, because it's the um, synagogue of Satan, right? The, 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 the Satan seed, Satan gave them riches while they was on earth. They are the serpent seed and they was able to rule the world with this wealth that they had. And that's why in 1948, right the Belfort Declaration they was able to go back to that land on the four pretense but that's for another video so again family gotta go